Okay, so in this part, we're going to look at the front end framework called Foundation. And we're going to be basing our web website design on this um, front end framework simply because we can go ahead, download it, and already have a ready to use grid system. This doesn't mean we're going to have everything already designed out for us. It doesn't quite work like that, unfortunately. We're still going to have to do all of the styling, color picking, and cutting ourselves. However, this is going to make it a lot easier. And it will also give us a responsive uh, layout as well. So the grid system will respond to different uh, device sizes. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to take a look around Foundation and just talk about the grid system a little bit. If you're not familiar with grid systems uh, or if you've never used a, a framework like this before, what we'll then go ahead and do is download it and we'll go ahead and look inside of the files and what we'll then do is go ahead and copy it over to our working directory and then take a look at actually how we start to use it. So we'll start to build up a document. So let's go over to the docs and just take a look at the grid system. This is really all we're interested in. We are going to be using the button styles and the header styles um, you know that are preset we're going to be overriding many of them but let's just go ahead and take a look at the grid system so basically the grid system um, lets you grid out your design as we spoke about in the last video uh, we identify places where we could have say a 12 column grid in total and then maybe if there were three things next to each other we could have a four a four and a four and you can see here that we've got exactly that so Basically, what this does is we've got uh, a, a prefix for, for how we uh, mark things up. If you're not sure about this markup, again, don't worry at all. Um, we'll be writing this all out from scratch, so uh, you'll, you'll understand this if you don't already. So large basically means on large devices. So you'll be able to find all of the, um, you know, the, the specific sizes soon uh, or by looking through here. But in this case, it says, well, on, la on a large screen, I want this to be four columns. But on a small screen, I want this to be two columns. So you can change this around. We're not going to be doing that. We're going to be keeping everything uh, by default because everything stacks quite nicely. But you can go ahead and after you finish this series, go ahead and play around with that yourself. So that's not to say you can't go ahead and just, you know, change things around. Okay, so um, although Foundation is mobile first, we're going to be going ahead and building this as a desktop version first because um, you know the, the the design shows desktop. We we know what we're building, and we're just going to go ahead and do it like that. Um, but if you want to find out more about mobile first, you can go ahead and you know Google for it. There's plenty of information about this. So what we need to do now is go ahead and actually download um, Foundation. Ah, this is a quite a nice example actually of the grid. So you can see that we've got four, four, and four. We've got four equal uh, layouts uh, or columns here. And there's plenty more on here. So if you head over to Foundation uh, or Google for Foundation or head over to foundation.zerb.com, you'll be able to view these documents if you get a little stuck. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually download this. So if you hit download foundation, there's a few options here. So what do we do? Well, the complete version will, will basically give you everything. The CSS, the JavaScript, um, everything. However, what we want is only the essential pack here. We don't want that. We don't want the complete version. Custom would be good if we had a specific width to our site that we needed to adhere to. But luckily, Foundation actually has the same width that we require from this PSD uh, that we've already discussed. And SAS is if uh, you want to go ahead and install it via um, SCSS or something like that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and download the Essentials Pack. I happen to already have this open in a window here. You can see that we've got a few files here. Um, and what we're now going to do is actually go ahead and look at what each of these files is for. And you can see that in the root directory, we've got robots and a humans.txt file. Just for how a server uh, or crawler reads your page, we're not going to discuss these, there's no need. Uh, we've got a JavaScript um, folder here as well, but we're not really too fussed about this. We don't really need to include this. Um, so inside of the CSS directory, which is the more important directory in our case, we've got foundation.min.css. 
So basically, this is a minified version of the base styles of this framework. So what this means is that they've been minified, so they've been compressed, line spacing has been removed, breaks have been removed, um, things like that. And we can go ahead and we can include this on a page and actually start to, uh, you know, start to use this. There's also this index.html file, which if we add to our browser, you can see that we've actually got a, an example of, you know, the Foundation Essentials package. Um, and if we go ahead and start to inspect things, uh, you'll be able to see that it's using columns here. We've got a row here. So we define something like that as a row. This is quite a good example, actually, because we're going to be doing a four, four and four like this. So there's a row. And you can see that you've got a, uh, a 12 column here. And then, oh, no, this has been styled slightly different. Oh, no, here we go. Sorry. This row here is what we're after because we're going to be doing things like this. So we've got a medium four column, medium four column, and medium four column. So it basically shows us what we you know can do. And it gives us a few examples of some of the buttons as well. They don't actually do anything. We've got things like an alert button, success. We're going to be using uh, a radius button, uh, but we're going to be styling this slightly differently within the header because remember we need that black style. So we'll be, be going ahead and, uh, and using these as well. So you can see here that we've got this basics here. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be copying these over now to our website directory. So we're actually going to be starting to structure this out. Now what we'll also do is start to create the basic document markup with including foundation and we'll take a very very quick look at creating maybe a row with some columns or something like that. So what do we need to do? Well we need to go ahead and uh, actually copy things over. So let's go ahead and copy the, only the things we need over. So the CSS uh, folder we need and we need an index.html uh, file so let's go ahead and copy that over as well. So let's go ahead and just uh, tidy this up. OK, so we can get rid of this now. We don't need any of these files here. And we need to go ahead and open this in our text editor. So let's go ahead and just open our text editor. And we'll go ahead and we'll just drag over this file here. And go ahead and we'll open both of these files. So you can see here that we've got our minified version of our style sheet. This isn't very useful to us because we can't go ahead and read things, uh, but that doesn't matter. If you go ahead and get an unminified version, it's a lot easier just simply because you can then go ahead and view what you may need to replace. Um, although you can do this in the browser, so it's not absolutely required. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all of this. We're going to start completely from scratch, so we're not copying any of the code that's been provided to us uh, from Foundation. Um, now what we also need to do is go ahead and open our um, local host or if you're doing this locally you can just open it as, uh, a f a, as a file but we'll go ahead and just open this directory so we can actually view this in our browser. So you're going to need to make sure that you've got this open like this so we can you know make a fresh start. Let's go ahead and close these uh, files off so we just got this tab open. Let's go ahead now and actually start to build out a basic structure for our website. So I'm going to create a doc type as you would expect to find. Uh, this could be in capitals or not, it doesn't really matter. Um, so we've got a doc type, this means HTML5. We're going to be using HTML5 elements like header, nav, and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and create our opening HTML and our closing HTML. And let's go ahead and do the head. So this is where we're going to include things like the style sheets and stuff like that. And then we'll go ahead and include the body as well. So in the head, let's go ahead and just type in title. And we'll go ahead and give this page a title. I'm just going to call it a flat design because this is a very flat design. So now what we want to do is go ahead and include the resources we need. Oh, actually, let's go ahead and set our meta char set to UTF-8. So our character encoding for the page is going to be UTF-8. So now what we want to do is we want to include within this CSS folder here foundation.min.css. So we use link and we say the relation is style sheet. And we go ahead and choose the location of this style sheet. So in this case it's CSS forward slash foundation.min.css. Now let's just remove this just for a moment. 
uh, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a paragraph in the body and I'll just say something like this is a test let's go ahead and open this in the browser and refresh so this is how you would see it without any styling or anything like that it, all, all the default styling is here uh, we've got things like the padding and things like that uh, you can see the user agent style sheet styles here however when we go ahead and we uh, paste this um, style sheet from foundation back in you can see that when we refresh things change so everything here has changed we've got different padding on the on the paragraph we've got now no padding or margin on the body um, and also the fonts changed as well so we can see that the if we scroll down we can see that we find here we go so we've got um, different fonts being selected so what we've now done is we've applied foundation and this is then changed certain things it's sort of uh, done a reset a CSS reset if you like you can get specific style sheets that do CSS resets but in this case all it's done is it's just gone ahead reset um, you know the, the default styling and we can start to sort of work on a clean slate or a better slate to work with so what we're now going to do is actually start to look at examples of the framework so we'll do some testing we'll look at building a row and things like that so let's go ahead and create a div and we're going to go ahead and give this a class of row. And let's just take a look what happens within the browser here. So we can see that now that we've got this row, we can see that we've got the styles attached that are coming from foundation.min.css. And we've got a width of 100%. We've got a margin left of auto, margin right of auto, and uh, a max width here as well. So we can't actually see anything here at the moment. It's pretty much empty let's go ahead and just start to add in some columns just so we can see how this how everything looks so I'm going to go ahead and create another div and this time it's going to have a class of large six I'm going to go ahead and copy this and I'm going to go ahead and put left and I'm going to go ahead and put right and because we're working with a 12 column grid this will be half and half so large six will be half and half so now when I refresh you can see we've got left and right here now this hasn't actually worked because we need to go ahead and, ch uh, and, and define that this is a column and that will apply the floats and everything that we need to uh, make these look like columns so there we go you can see now that this is now even though it's set to 100% width you can see that the max width on here if you look at the um, styling down here is 62.5 m's so that's the max width of the container and now we know that we can actually start to build things up now you know this is sort of centered in the middle of the page so it works perfectly as we come in this drops down as we'd expect to see from a responsive design so now that we know that we've got that sorted, we can go ahead and actually start to build out all of the elements on our page. So we're going to look at the navigation, uh, the header, you know, the, the containers and things like that. And we'll be doing that as we go. So uh, we'll be cutting up things as we go and, and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for foundation. Now that we've got foundation installed and we understand how these roughly work, we can go ahead and start building out our design a lot more easily.